All right, Shalom. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. All praises and glory is due to Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh Shai, Baal Shem Rakakwadash, for giving us this knowledge, this truth. Kal Halayim, La Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. So, um, I'm not sure of the exact title I'm going to put on this video, but the subject matter has to do with the train derailment and the chemical spill and exposure that happened in East Palestine, Ohio, and the serious consequences that it has on the human body, okay? And not just the human body, but um, the habitat around that area. So that's what I'm going to discuss in this video. Hopefully it's edifying to you brothers out there, as well as you few sisters that believe in this knowledge, this truth, all right? So the name of this video is entitled Pray For Us Brothers in Ohio. This was put up by uh, the brothers from GMS Ohio, okay? As you see here, his channel is GMS Columbus Ohio Saints, and let me start by saying, begin with Elder Pastor on down, you brothers over there in Ohio, you are in our thoughts and prayers. May Yahweh Bar Shemiyam Shai protect you and guide you from the event that happened in Ohio. Okay, so once again, you brothers are in our prayers. May Yahweh Bar Shemiyam Shai protect you and guide you uh, from the event that happened in that state of Ohio. All right. So that being said. Let me jump into it. Uh, again, like I said, this video is put up by the brothers from GMS Columbus, Ohio Saints. The name of the video is entitled Pray for Us Brothers in Ohio, Train Derailment and Toxic Exposure. So let's get into it. Revelation 12, 12. It says, therefore, Rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Yeah, it. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Okay? So these devils, man, right? these Edomites, man, okay, are going to come down with great wrath. Okay? Now, concerning this whole train derailment thing, of course we understand that this is the devil that the Bible speaks of. So these now, sorry I had to stop it there. The brother read the scripture in Revelation 12 and 12, the devil coming down with great wrath. Now, that event that happened in East Palestine, Ohio, that was definitely an example of this devil coming down because it's part of their agenda. And... This was not just a random accident that happened, an unfortunate circumstance. No, this was planned. Now, how do we know that this event in East Palestine was planned? Well, you have something called predictive programming. Now, there was a movie that came out in 2022. All right. As a matter of fact, let me show you what I'm talking about. The movie was called White Noise, for those of you that don't know. So let's read a little bit about this movie called White Noise. And it, as you see here, it was released in 2022. Right? And uh, it says down here, college professor Jack Gladney and his family's comfortable suburban life is upended when a nearby chemical leak causes the airborne toxic event releasing a noxious black cloud over the region that forces the Gladney family to evacuate. And that's pretty much what happened in East Palestine, Ohio. Okay. Now this movie was released in it was released on August 31st, 2022. Okay. So is there any comparison to that event that happened in East Palestine, Ohio and this movie? Absolutely. 
Now check this out. This is from Fox 8, right? Their website. Here's an article. Art imitating life. East Palestine resident was extra in train disaster film. This is from The Independent. All right, another uh, internet, uh, uh, another internet article. Ohio train derailment predicted by 2022. Netflix movie. Let me read that again. Ohio train derailment predicted by 2022 Netflix movie. And what's, what's the name of that movie? White Noise. This is from Word of Real. Toxic gas event in Ohio eerily recalls White Noise, which is the movie. So this thing was staged. Okay. This is from People.com. Ohio train derailment evacuee is living a real life version of, you know, of the movie. Well, I didn't mean to click on it, but I guess the spirit had me click on it. Let's read it. Ohio train derailment evacuee is living a real life version of the disaster movie he appeared in as an extra. <laughs> How about that? Again, this is from The Decider. Life imitates art. Train derailment in Ohio is in the same town where, as a matter of fact, let's click on that one. Let's read it again. It says, life imitates art, train derailment. Life imitates art. Train, train derailment in Ohio is in the same town where white noise train, train crash was filmed. How about that? So you're going to tell me that wasn't staged? And there's something called predictive programming. Now you might say, well, why would they do that? Why would they cause such a disastrous event well other than the fact that Esau has been blessed with the sword he has an agenda it's called population reduction all right and it's part of the new world order agenda okay to kill as many people as he can to reduce the population okay plus when you go into the scriptures Let's go into the book of Revelation, the sixth chapter, the fourth verse. Revelation 6 and 4, it says, And there went out another horse that was red. Now, the horse represents power, like a, a cause measured by what? Horsepower, right? So the horse, the, the metaphor of the term horse here represents power, right? And there went out another horse that was red. In other words, Edomite power, because Esau is red. You go back to Genesis 25, 25, it tells you the first and the first came out red, talking about Esau, the birth of Esau. He was born red. All right, so he's that red power that's in rulership right now, beginning with the top banking families. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that's what they do through these wars. They're the main ones creating these wars, beginning with the top banking families. They actually create these wars that you see. As a matter of fact, to prove that, you had a man by the name of Smedley Butler. Now, you can Google this. Smedley Butler, right? And he wrote a book called War is a Racket. So these wars, are just like in, uh, bridges are engineered and built, these wars are the same way. They're engineered and built. They're created, all right, these wars. World War I, World War II, and about to be World War Three. okay? So power was given to him by who? By the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, right? Power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth through these wars. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword because that's his blessing. You go back to Genesis. Now, it's funny because we're in the book of Revelation, right? 
But when you go back to Genesis, that's where he got his blessing. Genesis, the 27th chapter, right? Let's, let's go to that real quick. So his power is to destroy, man. And the, the event that happened in, in uh, East Palestine is just another example out of many. Okay, this man is hell-bent on destroying. Okay, that's his blessing. Genesis 27, and uh, we'll start at 39. It says, um, well, let me start at 38. And Esau said unto his father, has, has thou but one blessing, my father? The father being Isaac, right? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shall thou live and shall serve thy brother. So that's his blessing. His blessing is the sword. Because remember, Esau begged for a blessing. Let's read the 38th verse again. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Because it, when you read the whole story, Esau was supplanted out of his first blessing by his brother Jacob, all right? So there was only one blessing left to give him, and that's the blessing of the sword. That's the blessing of destruction, and that's exactly what he received. So when you fast forward to Revelation now, Revelation 6 and 4, it says, And there went out another horse that was red. This proves it was Esau. Esau is that red horse. Okay, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, right? Through destruction, through wars. Hey, it was Maya Amshel Bauer who said, you always want to buy when blood is running in the streets. Maya, this is a di direct quote from Maya Amshel Bauer. Maya Amshel Bauer changed his name to Rothschild, his last name to Rothschild, because he, he put up a red shield over the doorway he lived. And they became known as the Rothschilds, which is German, Rothschild for Red Shield. Now, huh, the term red, there you go. Rothschild, Red Shield. Okay, so they are the Edomites that the Bible speaks of, man. They're the top family of the Edomites, the nation of Edom, okay? They're the red horse. All right, and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him, and the Rothschilds have immense power, okay? They don't just own uh, companies and businesses. They own nations, man, okay? They own nations. Just all you have to do is Google the history of the Rothschilds, and you'll see what I'm talking about, all right? So they're the ones out here creating all these wars and all this chaos, and not just them. You have other top banking families that rule in tandem with them, and they're trying to bring the so-called New World Order. That's what it's all about. All right, so, and the New World Order is to be brought in by chaos. They have a motto that they follow, Ordo Ab Chao, Order Through Chaos. So that event that happened in East Palestine was staged, just another example of chaos, which they uh, believe that will bring their order, okay? Order ab kale, order through chaos. Okay? So, reading on it says, And there went another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword, great destruction. So that's why they create events like this. All right? What happened in East Palestine, Ohio. This man's blessing is destruction, okay? This is from WKBN, uh, I guess it's channel 27, film to real life, East Palestine derailment reflects Ohio movie. There you go. And then we're gonna read the consequences of what happened in the uh, bear with me for a minute.
Okay, so before I read this information here, let's just go back to the video and uh, pick it up from there. Of course, we understand that this is the devil that the Bible speaks of. So these Edomites, okay, the so-called white man, okay, just like it is written here in um, Second Corinthians, the second chapter, little verses. At least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. Yeah, we're not ignorant of his devices, such as auto kale. They create the chaos in order to bring the order, right? So that event that happened in East Palestine was just another example of that, all right? You have something called population reduction. That's part of the New World Order to reduce the population, okay? So let's move on. Okay, so we're not ignorant to the fact that, you know, all these, these plans and things that, you know what I'm saying, go on. Okay, are coming from the devil himself, man. Okay, these Edomites. All right, same thing. Yeah, the red horse. Like I read in Revelation 6 and 4, the red horse. Power is given on him to, power is given to him to create what? To take peace from the earth. And how, is that, how does that happen? Through wars. And, that, and, and um, to take peace from the earth and to, bring destruction. There was given unto him a great sword, which represents destruction. And that's going on with all these, um, these, um, fires happening at these, um, food plants, etc. Okay? We're not, we're not ignorant, man. To the fact that this man is a devil, he's setting things up. Okay? He's trying to, you know, push his whole NWO. Okay? NWO, New World Order. Let's go to the book of uh, Psalm 64. Psalm 64. Uh, Psalm 64 and 2. It says, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Now, Esau is known as the wicked in the Bible. You go in the book of Malachi, the first chapter, the fourth verse, it tells you this. So he has a secret counsel. What is this secret counsel of the wicked? These secret societies out here. You know, there's too many to mention, but they all have one thing in common. They all want to bring a new world order. Okay, these secret societies. So that would be your secret counsel of the wicked. So it says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. Right, and they do that through legislation. A good example of that verse there is legislation. The wicked legislation that Esau is passing in order to bring his new world order. And a great example of that is the mandatory implantation of the MOTB, the Mark of the Beast, which is that chip. That's part of his wicked legislation. Okay, also the penalties that could be inflicted upon a person that rejects that MOTB, that RFID chip, all right, in the form of detention centers, concentration camps, guillotines. As of late, you've been hearing the guillotine has been in the news. You know, Trump, who wants to get back in office, is calling for what? Is calling for the guillotine as punishment uh, for, uh, as capital punishment, the guillotine, okay? And before him, you had legislation way back in 1995, 1996 that talked about bringing back the guillotine as a form of capital punishment. You had a senator by the name of Paul LePage who came out of Maine. He mentioned about the guillotine as being a form of capital punishment. Okay? So if Trump went to get back into office which we believe is Nero Caesar, right? If he were to get back in office, that's exactly what he would bring. 
Okay, that's that's what he has said. He has said that if he were to get back in office as a form of capital punishment, he would bring back max, um, max, not max, mass executions, televised mass executions, and beheadings. You know, beheadings, and firing squads. This is what Trump has said, and that that's why we believe that uh, you know. Uh, Back in his past life, he was a Nero Caesar because Nero Caesar was about executing the Christians back then, okay? Which the Christians were Israelites, all right? If you go into the history of Nero Caesar, and there's a great comparison between Nero Caesar and Donald Trump. All you have to do is type in the comparison between Donald Trump and Nero Caesar, Remember, America is nothing but a re-extension of the ancient Roman Empire. That's all it is, okay? As the scripture have said, there's nothing new under the sun. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, there's nothing new under the sun. So all what we're going through, this ain't new, okay? But reading, going back to Psalm 64th chapter, reading on, it says, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not, right, through their legislation, their wicked legislation that they're, that they're passing in order to bring about the so-called New World Order. Now, in this so-called New World Order, Esau wants everyone controlled through an electronic device known as an RFID chip. Total control. The New World Order is about total control, especially over the Lord's people, which are the Israelites total control over us. That's what the New World Order is all about. And if you believe that that's a conspiracy or it's a cons conspiracy, which it is a conspiracy, what I meant to say is if you believe it's a conspiracy theory, no, it's a conspiracy fact. Why is that? Because if you look on the back of the one, uh, the one dollar bill, the American one dollar bill, you'll see the image for the so-called New World Order. You'll see the pyramid with the all seeing eye and you'll see the Latin words Anuit coeptis, which in Latin means he favors our enterprise with success. Anuit coeptis, what is their enterprise? Novos Ordo Seclorium, the New World Order. And the enterprise is spoken about in the book of uh, Job, the fifth chapter, the, uh, the 12th verse. Let's read it. Job, the fifth, uh, the fifth chapter, the 12th verse, right? It says, he disappointeth the devices of the crafty. Who's the he? The Heavenly Father Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai. Because the Heavenly Father Yahweh is going to send back his son Yahweh Shai to, as a matter of fact, let me read the scripture. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 24. This is one of the reasons why Yahweh Shai is coming back, right? 1 Corinthians 15 and 24. It says, then cometh the end, and we're in the end right now. When he shall have delivered up the kingdom to the heavenly father. Who is the he? Yahweh Shai. To the heavenly father, even the father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. The rule, authority, and power of Esau, which we're in right now, is going to be put down by Yahweh Shai. Let me say that again. The rule, authority, and power, which we're under right now, which is of Esau, Remember earlier we read about power was given unto him and a great sword and all of that. The power that Esau has right now is going to be put down by the heavenly father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And that's why Yahweh Shai is coming back to this planet Earth, to put down Esau's rule, authority, and power. Okay? So, going back to Job 5 and 12, now you understand why it says, He disappointeth the devices of the crafty. That's how he's going to be disappointed. Esau is going to be disappointed by Yahweh Shai coming back and destroying his society. As we read in 1 Corinthians 15 and 24. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. Who's the crafty, by the way? Esau. All right. An example of them being the crafty is the motto they believe in. Order ab chaos. Order through chaos. That's pretty crafty. For you to bring order, for you to scare people into accepting your order by creating chaos, by fin financing chaos. That's pretty crafty, man. So the event that was staged in Ohio, East Palestine, Ohio, 
And what's the proof? Well, the movie White Noise that came before it. That's an example of that event being staged, whether you believe it or not. That's an example of this, the, the craftiness of this man. Okay? That's an example of the craftiness of this man that's in power, this devil, this maniac. Okay? <laughs> he disappointed the devices of the crafty. All right? So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Now, again, when you go back to the symbol, right, that the pyramid with the all seeing eye, and you see the Latin words, Novos Ordo Seclorium, New World Order. And what the hell is Latin doing on an American dollar bill? I think, not I think, but I thought the language that we, that we predominantly speak in America is English. Why is Latin, all right, classic Latin, if you will, why is it on the American dollar bill? What is that all about? <laughs> it's about the New World Order, man. That's what Esau is trying to bring, okay? So there you go. So back to Psalm 64, uh, the fourth verse, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. So they're trying to bring this New World Order in secret, okay? And the perfect that it's talking about is us Israelites. Like I said, the New World Order is about trying to enslave us Israelites, bring us back to the plantation, if you will, with a, with a RFID chip stuck inside of us. You know, Esau trying to make us perpetual slaves, right? That's why it says that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not, right? Their, their wicked plans. You know what scripture goes with that? What I just read there? The same book, Psalm, because it's a plot, all right? Psalm 37 and 12, let's read that. Psalm 37 and 12. The wicked, who's the wicked? Esau, Edom, right? Malachi 1 and 4. The wicked plotteth against the just. So what you see happening, all what you see happening, all this chaos is, is a plot, all right? It's a conspir conspiratorial plot, right? against us Israelites, man. All right? It's a, conspir a conspiratorial, conspiratorial plot against us Israelites to bring into some, this thing called the New World Order to enslave us. That's what it's all about, okay? Whether you believe it or not, all right? Like it says here, the wicked plotteth against the just. Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom. Who's the just? Us Israelites and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. And a, an example of that plot is the New World Order. That's exactly what it is. But then as we read on, it says, the Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. Right, because remember we read, Yahweh is gonna come back and destroy, destroy this man's dreams, hopes, aspirations for a New World Order. Yahweh is gonna come back and put down his authority and power, all right? So that's why it says, the Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. Yeah, his day of destruction. And that's exactly what Yahweh is going to bring, a destruction to his, his society, man, that he's trying to bring, his new world order. Okay, let's, let's keep reading back in Psalm 64. So when it says, they that, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, that's the plot. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. What's that evil matter? The new world order and all the chaos that comes with it, man. All right? They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. And one of those snares is what? Chaos. They, they hope to bring order through chaos, auto ad chaos. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, who shall see them? Right, because they're doing their works in the dark. Very few people know that, well, more, more people now know because of uh, the internet, people are waking up. As a matter of fact, it was Jay Rockefeller who made a statement. Jay Rockefeller said the internet should have never been invented. Why? Because it's waking people up. People are waking up to what's going on behind the scenes. All right, people are starting to see through these so-called... Uh, these so-called um, 
horrific events like what happened in East Palestine, Ohio. People are starting to see through it. They're starting to see the bigger agenda, that this man has a big agenda or a bigger agenda, which is the New World Order, and it's going to, going to be brought in by chaos. Okay? So, again, it says, they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, who shall see them? And a lot of these individuals that are behind the New World Order, they work in something called secret societies. Secret societies, all right? You have certain secret societies that believe in human sacrifice. Okay? Yeah. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. There you go. Deep in wickedness. So these are, these are individuals that are very smart in wickedness. They're very smart in creating chaos in, in order to bring their, you know, to bring their order. And really their power goes back to the Heavenly Father on the left-hand side, the wicked side of the Heavenly Father. And you can read about that in Isaiah the 10th chapter, where the Heavenly Father reminds them, look, the power that you have to destroy really came from me. I gave you that power. We read in Revelation 6 and 4, power was given, on him, on, power was given unto him to create what? To create these wars and to bring destruction upon the planet Earth. Remember, we read that, Revelation 6 and 4. Okay? So, let's get back to the video. Depopulation, all types of, you know what I'm saying? Um, Let me bring that back. All he's trying to, you know, these um, food plants, etc. Okay? We're not, we're not ignorant, man. To the fact that this man is a devil, he's setting things up. Okay, he's trying to, you know, push his whole NWO, okay, depopulation, all types of, you know what I'm saying? Um, all types of chaos. Because remember, the top motto of the New World Order is auto ab chaos, order through chaos. All types of things, man, okay? So let's read this little piece of... Um, um, this little article, it says the two, it says the uh, 2023 Ohio train derailment was an accident that occurred on February 3rd, 2023 in East Palestine. It was a planned accident. It was contrived and planned. How do we know this? How, how the hell do you have a movie called White Noise that comes out that deals with the very thing that happened in or that dramatizes, I should say, the movie White White Noise, that dramatizes the very same thing that happened in East Palestine, Ohio. That's not coincidence. It was planned, okay? In Ohio, United States, a freight train carrying vinyl chloride derailed and exploded. On February 6th, emergency crews conducted a controlled burn of the spill which released hydrogen chloride and phosgen into the air. Okay. Now, um, hey, the water, bro. You have washing on shot, bro. All right, now, um, like I said, man, you know, this man, this devil, man, he's trying to take people out, man. He, he's, he's coming down with that wrath, man. Okay. And, and like I said, man, this, this man is real, real sloppy with his work. Okay, this hmm. man is real sloppy with his work, man. Okay, but like you know why the brother said that because more and more people are waking up, waking up to his, uh, like he said, his work, his craftiness, right? <laughs> more and more people are waking up to it through the internet. All right, people are seeing the bigger agenda. Why this devil is doing what he's doing. Okay, especially us that know this knowledge, know this truth. Now, before I go or end this video, I want to talk about the uh, serious consequences of that chemical spill that happened in East Palestine. Let's go into that. So here in Google, I typed in the, co the consequences of the Ohio train derailment, which was definitely staged, planned, if you will. Going back to Psalm 64, they accomplished a diligent search. Remember, we read that. All right. Um, let 
let's get into that some of these articles here oh this is a good one this is from abc news so i would say that's a reputable source abc news experts struggle to gauge potential health impacts of chemical spill in Ohio train derailment. It says here, few of the cars contain vinyl chloride, which breaks down into two main byproducts when burned, Hydro hydrogen chloride and phosgene. Now, what are the effects that it has on the human body? Vinyl chloride is classified as a known carcinogen to humans. It has been associated with a rare form of liver, C-A-N-C-E-R, okay, called heptic angiosarcoma. So that's the main concern with the vinyl chloride, said Dr. Stephanie Widmer, an emergency medicine physician and medical tox toxicologist in New York. So there you go. So that's one of the effects, the consequences of that chemical spill. The big C for your liver. Over here it says, breathing high levels of vinyl chloride can cause dizziness or sleep, sleepiness with even higher levels passing out or death can occur. Experts say determining potential risk after exposure is tricky. So let's put it this way, after that event, it is not gonna bode well especially for the people that live in that area. Now, just like in the movie, they had to evacuate. When it happened in the movie, back in uh, the movie White Noise, they had to evacuate. The people had to evacuate that town. All right? So, it's the same thing happening now in East Palestine, Ohio. People, people have to evacuate. Here's the footage of... Uh, a shot from the footage of the, the train derailment. Look at that. Now, you think we're going to have that effing madness in our kingdom, man? The answer is no, man. But that's what happens when the, the wicked is in rulership. As a matter of fact, let's bring in the scripture, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the, when the righteous are in authority... The people rejoice. Who are the righteous? The Israelites. When we're in authority, the people are going to rejoice because we're not going to have madness like you just saw with this derailment, train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, spilling dangerous chemicals. And then they light up the chemicals. You know, they put them on fire to destroy them and it causes these plumes of black smoke, which is immensely toxic. You just heard what, what that... Uh, doctor said, Stephanie Widmar, or was it Widmar or Widmar, you just heard her, 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 her synopsis, if that's the word, on what, breathing in that black smoke, what kind of effect it could have on the human body. Again, Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But here's the point. But when the wicked ruleth, who's the wicked? Esau, Edom. The people mourn. So this is, here's your example. Exhibit A. The people mourn, man, through shit like this. Let's bring in another scripture. The book of Revelation, the 18th chapter. All right? Let me get the ver verse for you. Oh, is it Revelation, the 11th chapter? 
Let's see, Revelation 11, chapter, the 18 verse. Yes, it is. Revelation 11, chapter, the 18 verse. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come. So eventually this man's going to be judged for all his wickedness, all right? And the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. So eventually we're going to get a reward for, for this ministry, for this ministry that we serve. We're going to get our reward from Yahweh all right, for teaching this knowledge, this truth to his elect. Eventually, we're going to get a reward, right? That thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints. That's the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. And them that fear thy name, small and great. That's the elect. Now, here's the point. And shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Now, you're going to tell me that this doesn't qualify? Events like this, destroying the earth, spilling dangerous chemicals into the air and having people breathe them with dangerous consequences? Come on, man, that more than qualifies. So eventually, these people that are behind all this, this madness, this chaos, and trying to bring their new world order, eventually they're going, to be, they're going to be judged, man. Their system is going to be destroyed by Yahweh Shai, and then the remaining uh, Edomites, right, beginning with the top banking families that's going to survive the destruction, the nuclear destruction that's going to survive it, they're going to be rounded up and brought into slavery. Thus saith the Lord. They're going to be brought into slavery underneath us Israelites. Okay? And that's going to be their punishment. Should this destroy them that destroy the earth. Let's go back and read some more. They're even calling it Chernobyl 2.0. You know what happened there, Chernobyl. If you don't, just Google it. There's a nuclear spill. There's one article I read. Well, the, I read the. I didn't read the whole article. I read the the title of it. It said uh, East Palestine, Ohio, was basically nuked. They were nuked. Okay, there's videos on Ohio water tested for health risks after train derailment. Not going to be good. This is from Washington Post. It says, what's known about the toxic plume from the Ohio train derailment? Let's read some of that. Uh, it says, an Ohio town is reckoning with the aftermath of a train derailment that unleashed highly toxic chemicals into the air, water, and ground. Not to mention there's videos that you can, you can, uh, you can uh, see that shows you the destruction of the fish in the Ohio waters after the train, devel uh, the train derailment event. And, you know, the chemicals being spilled, causing the fish, schools of fish, schools of fish turning up dead. Okay? Again, when the wicked bear of rule, what? The people mourn. Should us destroy them that what? Destroy the earth. So there's your examples, man. You can't get around it. An Ohio town, and that's why eventually America must be destroyed, must and will be destroyed. This place has got to go. As a matter of fact, let me bring in another scripture. The book of Micah. Oh, you brothers, you're going to like this one. You know, it's a popular scripture. You should know the scripture. Those of you that's been in the truth for a while, you should know this scripture. But it's so appropriate right now to bring it. Micah 2 and 10, it says, Arise ye and depart. This is directed to us that know this knowledge is true. We are, our hopes in, are no more in America, man. We see America going down. Just like George Carlin said, this country, he talking about America. He was talking about America because he passed away. George Carlin, the great comedian, he said, this country is circling the drain, CTD. And he said that on the Glenn Beck show. All right, he was being interviewed by Glenn Beck. 
and the question came up and George Carlin's response was, this country is circling the drain. Now, if you know your medical terms, CTD or circling the drain, as a matter of fact, let's look up the term circling the drain. Bear with me for a minute. Let's look up the term circling the drain. Oh, this was sent to me by, uh, as a matter of fact, you know what? Before I bring that out, let's just type in circling the drain. All right, circling. There you go. People also ask, what does circling the drain mean? It's a idiomatic, idiomatic, idiom. It's an idiom, circling the drain. To be in rapid decline or a state of downfall. Yeah, that's America. And, and, and that uh, event that happened in East Palestine is adding to it. This place is totally polluted. You're going to see that in scripture, Micah 2 and 10. To be in rapid decline or a state of downfall especially as leading to inevitable utter failure or destruction. And that is America, man. America is heading for destruction. America is destroying itself. <laughs> and if America is not destroyed, it will destroy you. So this place has to be destroyed and it will be destroyed. This madness can't go on. This nightmare can't go on forever, man. Okay. So now that you know what circle in the drain is, Let's get back to the scripture. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. See, this is not... How can we rest? You're going to tell me... Wait a minute. The people that live around that area where the event happened, the chemical spill, right? You're going to tell me they're at rest? And if they're at rest, they're, they're, they're a bunch of goddamn fools. It's a time of being evacuated. It's, it's a time of leaving that area. <laughs> so this is... More and more, you're seeing that this place is not our rest. That's the point. This is not our rest. We can't rest in this cesspool. This is a cesspool. It's polluted, man. Let's, let's keep reading. For this is not your rest because it is polluted. Now, you're going to tell me, right, that this doesn't... What happened in... Uh, in um, bear with me for a minute. What happened in uh, Ohio, right? You're going to tell me... Look at that. You're going to tell me that this is, this place is not polluted, like it said in the scripture, Micah 2 and 10? And more and more, it's, get, it's becoming even more polluted. Okay? This just adds to it. And there were other um, events like it that happened elsewhere. But this is the most famous one talked about, the, the event that happened in East Palestine, Ohio. Look at this, man. And you see that black smoke? That has serious consequences on the human body. We just read an example of it with, from that Dr. S uh, Dr. Stephanie Widmark or Widmar, and what she said about how it causes liver cancer. Okay, the smoke, breathing in the smoke. Ohio train derailment. What are the risks of vinyl chloride? There you go. So again, let's go back to the scripture. Arise ye and depart. So this is why we tell you brothers and you sisters out, out there that America is not your hope. America is done. It's finished. Can you not see that? It's finished. Just like George Carlin said. And that's why not too long after he said it, he, 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 he passed away. All right? He passed away. He might have been silenced. He said, this country is circling the drain. Is going down the drain. We read the term circle in the drain. That idiom circle in the drain. What it means. It's done man. It's finished. And the scriptures is telling you this. Micah 2 and 10. Arise and depart. For this is not your rest. You know our only hope is Yahweh Shai coming. And destroying this place. Which he will do. And bringing back the nation of Israel. Back to the, our land. Which is the land of Israel. That's what the, that's what the prophecy says. Beginning with the elect. Let's read a future prophecy, Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. We represent Jacob. We are the seed of Jacob as Israelites. 
and yet and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So we're going back to our own land. Forget about America. America is done. It's finished. Okay. And the stranger shall be joined with them. That's the other tribes. You know, we're going to be one nation. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. There you go. We're going to be one nation in the, in the land of Israel. Okay. And other lands where we're going to dwell. But mainly in the land of Israel. That's our homeland. We're going back to our homeland. So forget about some goddamn America, man. It's done. This place is done. And when you see events like this, this even more proves it. And there are going to be many more events like this in America. Because it's part of something called the New World Order. It's the agenda of Esau. And Esau is a madman. He's a maniac. He's, he was blessed with the sword. All right. Remember the movie uh, Planet of the Apes, the scene where um, Cornelius, which was one of the apes, was reading the, the sacred scrolls. Beware of the beast man. <laughs> Beware of the beast man. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me let me type that in there. Let's see. Let's, let's read a little bit about about that. Beware of the beast man. That's from the 1968 original Planet of the Apes movie. Beware of the beast man. Planet. There we go. Maybe I can get, uh, as a matter of fact, let's just play it. Let's just play it. Even better. What I know of man was written long ago, set down by the greatest ape of all, our lawgiver, Cornelius. Now, the apes are supposed to represent us as Israelites in power, all right? And Charlton Heston, who plays Taylor, is supposed to represent the so-called white man going into slavery, beginning with their top banking families. So let's, let's listen. Come here. Reach into my pocket. Read to him the 29th scroll. Sixth verse. Now the 29th scroll is, is supposed to represent the Bible. Right? <laughs> Beware the beast man, for he is the devil's pawn. Alone among God's primates, he kills for sport or lust or greed. That lines up with Revelation 6 and 4. And the beast man is talking about is the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, the Edomites. That's their power. Their power is to destroy. Okay? Yea, he will murder his brother to possess his brother's land. We're his brother. Us Israelites, Jacob and Esau were what? They were brothers. Okay? Did not the so-called white man come over here and murder the so-called North American Indian? Our brothers, his brother, and took their land? There you go. Let him not breed in great numbers, for he will make a desert of his home and yours. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hey, East Palestine is kind of looking like a desert to me. East Palestine, Ohio, is going to become a ghost town, man. Look up the term ghost town. Just by that event that happened. There's some serious health risks, health consequences from that event, man. Okay? So let's let's hear that again, what he just said there. Why do you think we reference the scene so much when we teach? Because this was a very poignant scene from the movie. Planet of the Apes. All right? Very poignant scene. The beast man, for he is the devil's pawn. The beast, Esau. Wait a minute, the beast, right? That's also known as the, in the Bible, the, the ancient Roman Empire is known, also known as the beast. And the beast has a mark for you. What is that mark? It ain't sin, all right? It's sin to take it, but the mark ain't sin. The mark is the RFID chip, 
from the Greek word karagma or churagma, which means a thing inserted. That is that chip. That's what the beast man got for you. <laughs> Beware. Hey, don't take that chip. Beware of the beast man. <laughs> Alone among God's primates, he kills for sport or lust or greed. As he so. Yea, he will murder his brother to possess his brother's land. Let him not breed in great numbers, for <laughs> he will make a desert of his home and yours. For he will make a desert of his home and yours. Yeah, you'll have uh, trained derailments carrying dangerous chemicals being spilled into the air, turning your town into a ghost town. This is what happens when Esau rules under the rulership of Esau. This is what happens. And yours. Shun him. <laughs> Drive him back into his jungle lair. And that's exactly what Yahweh is going to do. When Yahweh comes, he's going to put down this man's authority. Wait a minute, let's bring in the scripture. If Yahweh don't come back, right? No flesh left. I hope it comes up. All right, let's try to be saved. Let's try that. To be saved. Yeah, because it's very important for Yahweh Shai to come back. Why is that? <laughs> Let me read it to you. As soon as I find it. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and 22. Let's read that. I'm going to close this video. Matthew 24 and 22. Oh, start 21. It says, for, that, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor or no, nor shall, nor ever shall be. And we're, we're heading to that time now, the great tribulation that's coming. You know, the, the mandatory implantation of the chip, you know, martial law, you know, uh, race wars, race riots, ultimately World War III, all of that, man. Reading on, it says, and except those days should be shortened, there should be, no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Yeah, so with this man in power, right, causing all this chaos, no flesh are left to be saved. And the event that happened in the East Palestine is just more, Ohio is just more proof of that. What I know of man was written long ago. Shun him. Drive him back into his jungle lair. For he is the harbinger of death. The harbinger of death. Wow. There you go. All right, so with that, I'm in this video. Hopefully you were edified on to the next one.